Hi and welcome to this week's episode of Duck Chatter. This week I've traveled to Rob Roberts Custom Gunworks in Batesville. We're going to kind of give a tour, kind of look at the new facility since it burnt down and has been rebuilt, and just kind of go through some of the everyday stuff that they do here at Rob Roberts. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys. Doing, sir. <laughs> All right, how are you doing? Good. Well, yeah, this is the first time I've been here since the uh, place burnt. Yeah, it's pretty, looking good. It's coming pretty, along. Pretty bad deal. We're not there yet. We got some of the stuff that we're going to be doing in the front with the new office buildings and stuff like that coming in. But as of right now, we cut some of the office out here and expanded a little more space. And we're like you said, we still need some. This uh, this part here we're using. This is kind of our Benelli setup over here where we do their performance shop guns. Uh, bring them in, disassemble, putting them back together. As you can see, some of them on the floor. Um, this is customer stuff over here. Um, you can see we're in the heat of summer, and you can see some of the customer guns, and some of those guys wonder why we get behind. Well, we got quite a few in here. Um, this is kind of work area here where we do a lot of the um, in-between stuff, things we have to build whether we're doing, you know, like they're running some of the EDMs and stuff back here where a lot of the porting, marking chokes and doing some of that is coming in. Um, we've got a, a lot of new, uh, we got some lasers coming. So we, you know, we've got some new products coming. Um, can't really talk about that right now. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag too quick, but we got a bunch of, bunch of that coming. Um, here's some of the CNC's. We still do, we still have our Crosstown operation going where you know build the majority of it but we're doing a lot of our uh, as you walk over here you'll see a lot of the uh, new experimental stuff if you would um, a lot of small parts a lot of cocking handles trinkets stuff like that we work on all the time here it's Todd in there but and so we, we do most of that stuff right over in you know in here we're not completely there yet, but uh, we're still trying to expand and grow back into where we was. We'll just we'll just cut through here, and I'll show you um, some of the dip stuff. Um, it's being expanded. Um, the Cerakote is really getting expanded. It's, the Cerakote we're doing lots and lots of Cerakote, and so. Uh, well, since the fire, uh, how long is it? been since the fire to this point to get these buildings back I mean it's been pretty we were out deal. yeah it's been we were in these buildings exactly almost I mean to the date a year it took it took a year so um, but like I said we're still not settled but we're a whole lot better than we was and actually they've been changing this room this is part of the dip room as you'll see when you come in here uh, some of the stuff going there's paint booths back there you can kind of see uh, yeah, and it, it kind of goes in here to prep and touch-ups and every, you know. This, actually, this room here is not even completed because we've got to go down. Um, we're actually putting another paint booth and everything on the far end um, to do some of the production type stuff. And so uh, we're gonna walk all the way out and go through into the Cerakote part. So you'll see that. What's up, Dave? Morning. Yeah, we, we actually got to the point where a lot of our stuff, you know, just like I said, we, we, everything's tagged and we're scattered out. But as you can tell by this building, it's more of a safe than it is anything. But uh, yeah, these are all getting ready for uh, prep work to go into Cerakote. Like I said, our main concern was to get up and get operational. And as you come in here, this is, this is, uh, what's up, Doug? Look, another fitted mask. Look at that. Uh, this part is where they do all this, like uh, the Cerakote, the painting, the, you know, everything that goes on before they move it into the other room. So you got your two bays for painting and, and your ovens, your blasters. Um, they're doing distress stuff right there. And uh, these are the artists, if you would. These, these, these guys do all the fancy stuff. 
but uh, but anyway, that's that's basically the operation. Which this one's not. We w with the new products that's coming, this is not going to be large enough. So we're we're trying to expand this as we can. A lot of the customer stuff and a lot of form. Yeah, we can go down and shoot something. We can go down to pattern test guns. I'll get Darren to come down there and kind of show you that operation, what we're doing with the, how we go through pattern test. We can grab turkey, duck, whatever you want to, whatever you'd like to look at and uh, kind of show everybody what we're doing. Yes, sir. Uh, he's doing right here. This is, this is our uh, computer room for the test patterning machines. And as you can see, we've got two of the machines here. We still have another one over here. There's, there were six of those built. And um, we had the first two and the last one. So Federal's got one, Winchester's got one, another choke tube company's got one, and then we got the other three. Our basic thing, and that's, we want everything in a 20 to 24 inch, to be honest with you, because that's your killing power. Uh, we won't overkill. We won't, just like on ducks, everybody's, the, the fad right now is going to 410s. Um, I'm not going to duck on a 410. And I hunt too many rice fields and, and a lot of wind, and so I want, I want to hit them hard. Uh, not necessarily will ever shoot three and a half unless I'm out of shells and the guy next to me has some. But uh, yeah, three inch does it. 20 gauge is fantastic, and the 28 gauge is something that's really going to come on for the guys that do have their personal blinds in the woods you know, where they are going to shoot everything. I've, I've got buddies that, you know, you go to their place, you're in the timber, and you're not going to shoot a duck over 25 yards. You know, they're, they're calling them into that exact hole. Well, that's great. But me, on the other hand, you know, I don't call good. I have to get out there, like I said, and I'm in Riceville. I need something to shoot from here to Memphis, you know. So I, I, I like to, we look for overkill, because to me, that's being a sportsman. Hit them hard, no wounded, no crippled, no dogs chasing. I know that's all great and wonderful, but that's that's not fair. Kill it, you know. And so uh, these machines help us find out what shells are doing the best, what what chokes doing the best out of that particular gun, and uh, we we pattern test all these on ducks and turkeys. But uh, we're going to show some duck loads here in a minute, and we'll show you a variety of what we're going to shoot out of it. Um, we we try to shoot a little bit of everything. And then so like a customer, from a customer standpoint or for the Benelli Performance Shop standpoint, we turn around and uh, we sh we're gonna show the patterns. Here's what your gun like, take the guesswork out. You know, you guys, you know, you know the drill, you got so much stuff you're working on. When it's time to go, the last thing you wanna worry about is your gun. So here's your gun, here's your load, go kill. And uh, that's, that's what we're gonna try to get done. Okay, what he's gonna do, this is one of the Benelli Performance Shop duck guns and uh, he's going through the chokes and everything and so like right here he's at about the 30 yard range um, we like to shoot the duck guns or any of these guns we're using the sticks just kind of steady to make sure everything's on there but we like to shoot them off the shoulder not necessarily like the performance shop turkey guns which have scopes or sights you know they got the burst fast fires on them um, we'll shoot them off a bench and you know you, you can settle in to zero them in that's fine but uh, to shoot a shotgun, to really get the point of impact, you don't need to shoot it off a bench, you need to shoot it off the shoulder to know where your gun's hitting. So that's kind of part of this too. You know, you're just using the sticks just to steady it up, but uh, uh, we'll show you what you do. And he's, he, he's gonna take our, all the beating and banging for us. And uh, we'll see how these chokes. This is a T2, and what are you shooting on this one? We shoot a little bit of everything, I think. It's, it's federal, no, it's federal blue box. Yeah. Okay, it's a speed shock federally shooting through it right now, so let's see what it does. Ready? Ready. See, I was shooting that gun a little high. I'm going to have to bend over too much, but, but that's a really, really good pattern right there. See how even that is? That's your 20 inch right there, and that's just, that's what I personally like to see, which, you know, it's a 96% pattern, but that's covered. That's a uh, black cloud too. Well, Rob, I appreciate you letting us come by and visit and get to see all the new shop products and kind of the new layout and get to shoot some guns and just, uh, you want to tell us kind of what we did do here today? Well, uh, yeah, and like I said, the next time you come, it's, uh, we're getting close to duck season starting, and so any new products that we got coming, you can't really do right now. Right. You know, it's, it's the way the industry works and everything because you don't want to throw a cog into everything you're already doing. So, uh, you know, some of these products will be just a little bit, but as you've seen with the building, we're not completely 
back in, but we are operational. We are we are kicking it out, um, but we are we have grown tremendously on that part, and so. Um, the new stuff coming, which be towards the end of duck season, it'll start trickling out. And um, then you're gonna have to come back up and yeah. do this again. Do but it. that's not necessarily, we, we've, uh, we've come up with a couple things that has changed even what we did. And it took uh, several months, uh, we, we did some where we spent three months of doing nothing but doing what we did right here, just boom, 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 trying this, trying that, trying everything that we could ever come up with for a newer, and it, it took a while to beat the old. I mean, right. it, it did, and um, we're, we're on something right now, especially on the turkey side, that's where it'll probably start. That's, that's gonna be, I think, pretty phenomenal. And so uh, hopefully you guys can come back up and we'll do this again, and uh, you know, of course we're gonna stay in touch anyway. Yes, sir. And so. Uh, I sure do appreciate it. Well, man, we appreciate we everything y'all do. Oh, you bet, you bet. On you that just... turkey hunting stuff, boy, if it, they stayed in season longer, I don't know how much of a duck hunter I'd be if uh, I could <laughs> do that a little bit more, I'm telling you. It, it's getting better. You know, we, Arkansas, I think three years ago had two turkeys and we're up to about a dozen and a half still alive right now. But uh, no, actually <laughs> lots of poults, the, the hatch was good this year. And I mean, I'm seeing pictures from buddies and everything. And so yeah, turkey season ought to be coming good. So maybe we can get 20, salvage something out of duck season for 2020 and uh, yeah. get this going right. Cause this, this year's not been good. No, sir. Well, I sure do appreciate it. Thank <laughs> well, thanks you. again, man. Thank y'all. Folks. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Duck Chatter. We got to visit our friend Rob at Rob Roberts Custom Gunworks. If you need your gun Cerakoted, uh, pattern tested, you want to find out what load works best for your gun, what choke tube, I think you need to give him a call. He's a top-notch guy in a top-notch outfit.